Hi everyone, it's uh, Monday, it's the 8th of June, uh, as I'm sure you're all aware, there is lots and lots of uh, sports retail businesses opening back up today. Um, it's a lot busier out there, I'm actually here at the salon uh, preparing in advance um, for our reopening, which is still the 20th of July. Um, but it just means, uh, yeah, I can kind of get back into my own environment. Um, and as always, I'm coming on to you today to talk about uh, some new exciting products that we have from our lovely Irish brand and skincare range, uh, Hollis Skincare. And Neve is the creator, Eve Hogan, behind this brand. Fantastic lady, fantastic vision. And I'm uh, very grateful to be able to have her products here in stock uh, probably about the last five years now, I think. Um, and finally managed to get my hands on her newest range, her newest collection called Supernatural Activity. And if any of you have used the Hollis Skincare products, you know uh, Neve is very passionate about plant-based botanicals. So it's an aromatherapy plant-based skincare range. And with this range, the Supernatural Activity range, it's now the blend of the cosmeceuticals. So we're all kind of aware of the active skincare ranges with the variety of different AHA and BHA acids. So uh, Neve and her team have spent a long time being able to create a bridge, if you like, between the use of plant-based botanicals and the very, very best in what cosmeceutical science and cosmeceutical skincare has to offer. And I'm very happy to have the four uh, of these products now in stock. I have been using them over the weekend and of course I'm only ever wanting to sing about something and I, do, I knew I'd be singing about this, uh, this range but I really wanted to try it, experience it and of course I, I love it, it's fantastic. Rather than me going in depth about the four products today, I really want to give each of them their own collective time because I feel so much thought has gone into these, so much fantastic ingredients has gone into these that what I'm going to do is kind of roll these out and talk about them a little bit more in depth each day so you get the full sense of what these products are about. So what I have in my hand uh, today, I'm very excited about cleansers all the time, particularly in, a in AHA cleanser um, and basically AHA are your alpha hydroxy acids and I'm going to go into these in a little bit of detail. Um, so basically I have Yes, here it is. It's the AHA Deep Cleansing Cream Mask. Now, I have a little bit already pumped out onto my hand. So, as I'm talking, I'm going to put this onto the skin. Now, bear in mind, I've already prepped the skin with the other products in the range. But again, I'm going to collectively talk through this as the week goes on. So, um, with the um, AHA Cleanser. So, basically, it's three purposes. You can use this to cleanse. In which case I massage onto the skin for about 10 to 15 seconds before removing it either with a damp cotton pad or with a warm face towel. Alternatively, if you want to move past the cleansing stage to a more deeper but gentle exfoliation, you're going to massage it around the skin for about 1 minute, 60 seconds. If you want to go a step further and leave this um, as a mask, I would leave this on or recommend it to leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes. And obviously the longer you leave an AHA cleanser on the skin, the more it's going to work through the layers to dissolve any buildup of dead skin, dead skin cells and to gently remove those from the skin. To reveal, love that word, brighter, clearer um, skin that will absorb the rest of your skincare products um, really, really well. And that's the essential kind of thing about the AHA or alpha hydroxy acids. They're a mixture of plant-based and animal-based derived acids. They work to dissolve that kind of debris or web of dead skin cells that's building up on our outer layer of skin or our epidermis all the time. And if we're not doing that, we can find that we get a bit of congestion, we get a lot of buildup. My skincare is not working for me. My makeup's not sitting on my skin. And they're the kind of common symptoms, if you like, of dead or build up on the skin. You may be getting a lot of spots that are underneath the skin that you can't see, but you can feel them, or congestion, as we like to call it. And um, you may be getting some spots. 
um, and it just comes back to that cleansing process. Now, as I'm talking to you here, I'm actually going to leave this. I, I'm used to using uh, AHA. I haven't cleansed or I've done anything with my skin today, so I'm actually going to leave this on for a few minutes longer on purpose um, to get a more of a, a cleansing mask experience from this product today. Um, I have used it over the weekend to just do a gentle 10 to 15 second cleanse. I have used it for up to a minute at night time to give it more of an exfoliant and um, to allow my nighttime cream. So I've kind of used it and this is my third time uh, to use it and now I'm going to leave it on. And again, um, with alpha hydroxy um, acids or AHAs in, in products you will recognise these with certain, uh, there's a, a selection of acids if you like that come under this AHA. So we have glycolic acid, we have lactic acid, we have malic acid, we have tartaric acid, and we have citric acid. I think there's one more in there, but I'm going to focus on those acids in particular because they are in the blend that is in this AHA deep cleansing cream or mask. Okay, so lactic acid, as we know, comes from lactose, which is a sugar-based um, uh, ingredient, which is found primarily in an animal based products as we know it, uh, things like milk for example. And basically what it is, the mildest of all the alpha hydroxy acids and it works to dissolve these um, dead skin cells. Skin cells. Alpha hydroxy acids are all concerned about anti-aging and um, reducing that kind of pigmentation or colorate, discoloration on the skin, uh, improving brightness, improving tone, um, improving blood flow to the skin reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, anything to do with accelerated uh, aging, anti-aging, uh, particularly due to the environment, chemicals in the air, office based conditions, and all of those things. And um, I suppose lactic acid is the mildest of all of those. We also have glycolic acid in this. Uh, glycolic acid is my favorite. It's a slight little bit stronger than lactic acid. Um, and it works to go a little bit deeper into the epidermis um, and really dissolve again those dead skin cells, turn them over, get them off the skin and bring up that, uh, gently mind you, bring up that kind of fresher, brighter, younger skin cells to the surface. And it also increases the absorption of all of the other good skincare products that we use. Um, glycolic acid is sourced from sugar cane. Um, lactic acid, as I told you, is an animal-based derivative. Um, we have tartaric acid, which essentially, you know, grapes is where we find a lot of tartaric acid. Malic acid is also in there. We generally find a lot of malic acid in apples. And then we have citric acid, so it's citrus fruit. So think of your grapefruit, your lemon, your lime. And Neve has, and her team have, have carefully blended a 5% blend of AHA, a blend of all of these acids. And generally on the market at the moment, the 5% is over the counter product. And that's the, a good blend of an alpha hydroxy acid to use safely and effectively on your skin at home. You will find when it comes to peels and other salon treatments, uh, you're looking at a more increased percentage, but that's for salon, that's for professional treatments. So we will stick to this 5% blend that we're using today. You'll also see on the, on the tin here, it has a pH of 3.8. Now, generally with our skin, our pH is normally at a level between 4.5 to 6, 7 being neutral in the pH scale. What generally an alpha hydroxy acid uh, cleanser will do is will actually make this product a little bit more acidic um, on the skin. So what that does is it allows for penetration onto the skin, it allows for that breakup of dead skin cells. So we're slightly increasing the acidity onto the skin um, to basically make a gentle but effective result. What we will do then after is we will cleanse with a cloth or a damp um, cotton pad. And generally what I use then is, I won't talk too much today, is the probiotic and prebiotic spritz from the Supernatural Activity range. And this is pH balanced. So what that will do, and you can use water either, so water has a pH balance uh, of seven. So what it will do is it will restore and bring you back into that 4.5 to six range where the skin is normally at its pH balance, as will this particular product, the prebiotic and probiotic spritz. And it not only does that, but it has lots of other functions, which I will talk to you about later in the week. 
Um, alpha hydroxy acids, in general when we're using this in active skincare, um, it's a 5% uh, blend which is very good for all skin types, even sensitive skin types. However, if you are unsure, I would always say to introduce this just as a cleansing um, agent. Use this for about um, 10 to 15 seconds and cleanse. Just use it as a cleanser. Maybe introduce it every other day. Slowly then, you can introduce it every day on 10 to 15 seconds. Then you can increase it maybe to 20 seconds if you want to have that exfoliant. And maybe once a week, do what I'm doing here now. Leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and use it as a deep clean or a mask. So what I would always suggest about any, any product that you're not sure of, whether it is an active skincare or not active skincare, if it's new to you, introduce it slowly onto the skin. Um, overworking something onto the skin that's never been used before sometimes can trigger a, a reaction. Um, and a reaction, I mean just a little bit of a flare up, maybe a bit of a tingling, maybe a little bit of a breakout. And it just means that you're forcing the skin to turn off a little bit, turn over a little bit quicker than what it's used to. So just to be careful with that, particularly your more prone to sensitive skin. These products are, are designed for even the most sensitive skin. But again, just always introduce nice and gently onto the skincare. And any of your um, beauty therapists or skin technicians will also inform you of the same. Um, AHAs, what to, when, when should I not use them? So the only time I would recommend not to use AHAs or any active skincare range on skin is if you have active acne, where your, your spots are inflamed, they're red, it's, it's, it's an ongoing, it's active acne as we call it. So I would avoid using those. Um, if you have active rosacea, if you have a flare up of eczema, if you have a flare up of psoriasis, um, any kind of active skincare problem, I would avoid using the AHA and wait until the skin has calmed down to begin reintroducing it or reintroducing it onto the skin. Otherwise, it's great for all skincare types, even more sensitive skin. But there's a way and means about, about everything. Um, what I have found even from my first use, very, very gentle on the skin. Sometimes with glycolic acid uh, products, I may find there may be a little bit of tingling on the skin. With this, not so much. Um, and it could be down to the fact that I'm used to using, um, on, under the Academy Dermat range, there got the glycolic cleansers from time to time as well as part of my, as part of my routines. Um, what I will also say about the product, the immediate effect of uh, the infusion of the blanc, plant-based botanicals and let's not forget those the AHAs are one and it then it sits in a combination with lavender oil to soothe skin um, frankincense to work as an anti-ager and a hydrator orange oil which is the newest one in this and I love the uh, the uh, addition of the orange essential oil very good for brightening up the skin uh, we also have Melissa in there as a lovely plant-based ingredient which basically helps to move along sluggish skin and again has that brightening impact on the skin. We also have yojoba oil in there, a great source of vitamin E, a great conditioner for the skin, great for tone, great for smoothing, great for soothing of the skin as well. So we not only have the AHAs, which are the best of the cosmeceutical um, area of plant-based, or sorry, of skincare, I should say, we also have those plant-based um, ingredients as well. Fantastic. And it all lends itself to create this lovely, lovely, lovely cleanser. So as I'm talking to you now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the uh, probiotic spritz. I'm just going to use this three to four times over the skin. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently, while I'm here, I don't have a facial towel just prepared with me today, but I'm just going to take off any excess. That feels so good. just for an extra bit of toning while I'm here. Now I would probably, if I was at home or if I had prepared, I'd probably use a facial, a facial cloth, so a warm facial towel, just to gently remove the rest of that. But what I'm, at, I'm gonna use here, which I have, is the micellar. Now it is designed for pre-cleanse, but um, I have been using this over at the weekend as a kind of a toner as well. Um, it's a fantastic product. Again, I'm going to give it its own little bit of time and its own right. The lovely thing about this is you can use it just for cleansing off makeup, pre and post makeup. And um, it's that lovely, lovely orange essential oil that hits you very, very gentle, very, very soothing on the skin. And again, just using that to take off any of the remnants of the cleanser. Now, I only used a very, very light layer. Um, again, straight away, I can just see even on the camera here, my skin just is quite clear. Um, 
I have a little bit of congestion going on around here at the moment and from using it over the weekend I have found that's kind of really brightened and um, it's really smoothed out a bit so I know it's working. Again, finally, just as I'm talking to you there, when you're putting on the AHA cleanser, just avoid avoid contact, direct contact around the eyes. So I would always leave this immediate eye area free, just because you do have a blend of um, AHA acids there. So you don't want to cause any irritation to that delicate area around the eye. So I realize I'm talking for about 15 minutes here now. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, and again, it's the newest from Hollis Skincare. And I'll be talking more about during the week and I'll pop up some links here after.